So abortion. That's a really big issue with the presidential elections and like just general in general everyone. For me, it should definitely be pro-choice because it's the woman's body, it's the woman's child, and the people who vote on it in Congress, like about 75% of them are men or more, and how many of those men can have babies? And how many of those men will be raped? How many of those men will be, they will have babies and not be able to support them. To me, it's pro-choice or no choice. I mean, it's not up to men in Washington whether or not women who live in low-income housing, low-income neighborhoods, and they can't afford to pay for their babies. And it's, a lot of the time, it's not their fault either. I mean, people who have sex, they, if they take it, if they take the responsibility to do that, if they, if they use condoms to have birth control, well, even not birth control, because a lot of them can't afford it, but if they use a condom and they do everything that's physically possible not to get pregnant, but they still have sex, then why can't it be a choice for them to have an abortion? And what, for our society, I think that schools should, pro should provide birth control, whether it be condoms or the pill. And I think that why, if, if you're going to have abortion, the technology around, if you're going to have that, then why not have it legal? Because if, if, you're, if you really want to get rid of a baby then you'll go to any length to do it. Most people don't know that there's natural alternatives, but if if you're that desperate to get rid of that baby and not give it the life that maybe you had or someone that you know had, then you're gonna go and do whatever it takes. So some people will go to these clinics that treat you horribly, that leave you bleeding and hurt and scarred and that's going to ruin your your body to where it, one day if you want to have kids then you can't and I think that the government should provide places that are safe and healthy and that are friendly to a woman's body so then her life wouldn't be ruined too because if they, they say it's all about the baby's life being ruined then what about the mother? what about her because they don't know they they don't they don't live her life so to me that's what should happen but there are natural alter alternative there's a book that you can read um it's called cunt um and i i forget the, who writes it but i'll look it up and i'll put it in the video's description but it, it tells you a natural alternative to do so it's like a miscarriage basically and you don't have to go to a clinic it doesn't harm your body at all and you don't you don't like break any laws or anything and it's it's a really safe alternative for abortion and it's not painful uh, to me that should be one of the choices and you should be provided with those things if they're gonna be so against abortion then they need to provide something, an alternative, a safe alternative. And you can look that up on the internet because I have before. Because I've had friends that needed that. So, to me, I think that women only should vote on this. And they should be more educated on the subject. Because women who are like, oh, oh, you're killing the baby. The baby doesn't, they can't think, they can't feel it. They, they only have a heartbeat after it's three weeks old, but it doesn't mean that they're gonna, they're gonna hate you for the rest of their lives, because there's just no life. I mean, it's different if the baby is born, but if you think about it, if you, they say you can put the baby in, like, you can put it up for adoption, 
But if you think about it, going into foster care all your life and going into orphanages, you've, that's already overcrowded as it is. And these kids are going to be treated horribly. Why not get, do, it's doing them a favor. Those little babies inside of your stomach, that's doing them a favor. If you can't afford to take care of them or if you're going to stick them in foster care and orphanages, it's doing them a favor if you kill them. Um, it's, this, it may sound horrible, but it's the truth. It's already overcrowded as it is. And if you're going to take on the responsibility and you're mature enough to make the choice to get rid of that baby, then then you're going to, it's it's your choice. I mean, it really is. And to me, men should have nothing to do with making it.